Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. My name is Andrew Glazer, and today I'm going to teach you how to divide polynomial functions by using a specific example. So here we have a function, 6x squared minus 25x minus 25 is going to be divided by then 6x plus 5. So the first thing is, I absolutely hate this form, so I'm going to change the form. I'm going to turn it into a long division. Take a look. Bam. So basically, what's ever on the right-hand side of your division symbol gets placed on the outside here of your long division symbol. Okay, and then what's ever on the left would get plugged inside. All right. Now that we have this set up, how do we approach solving the problem? So first thing is, you look at your divisor. You want to find the, the term with the highest x-valued uh, power in it. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You're basically going to look and find x, and whichever one has the x value with the highest power wins, okay? So since this is the only term with x in it, and it's to the first, this one wins. I guess maybe that's what I'm trying to say. You're going to take this 6x, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to divide it on into the divisor. And what you're going to do is locate, again, the highest term or the term with the highest x value, okay? And by highest x value, I'm talking about the highest power of x. If that's confusing, I do apologize. I'm a little confused at the moment, too. So uh, you're not alone. I don't even understand what I'm saying myself. In any case, just watch and I think you'll get it. When you divide these two, uh, the six is cancel, right? And then the x just reduces down to a single x. So now this is going to be part of your quotient. And the quotient gets written down on top of the long division symbol. Now, I don't care where you put the x. Put it over here, put it over here, put it over here. It doesn't really make a difference. All right, I'm just going to put it there. The next step then is you're going to write a subtraction symbol and a parenthesis. You're then going to take your quotient value of x, and now you're going to multiply that x to each of the terms inside of your divisor. So x times 6x is simply going to be 6x squared. And then x times 5 is going to be simply uh, 5x, okay, plus 5x. And now there's nothing over here, so you can simply plug in a 0 if you want. You can do plus 0, okay? It's like the same thing as saying 6 plus 5 is the same thing as uh, 6 plus 5, uh, 6x plus 5 plus 0, excuse me, right? And x times 0 is going to be 0. So that's how you can think about it as well. Now, before you start doing the math, take this negative symbol and, and uh, uh, oh my god, divide, wow. Distribute, oh my god, too many Ds, right? Oh boy, I think today is, this is the last video for today. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's only 2.14 in the morning. So take the negative symbol and distribute it to each of these terms inside, okay? Now, when you do that, you're going to next erase the parentheses, all right, and change all the signs, signs, okay? So anywhere you had signs, change all of the signs, okay? Um, oh boy, I might just stop here midway. Erase the signs, and if they're positive, all right, you gotta make them all negative now. Okay, now you can do the math. All right, so that cancels, right? Because positive 6x squared minus uh, 6x squared is just going to be 0. This you're going to add together, so that's going to be a negative 30, right? Negative 30x, and then here it's just going to be minus 25. Okay, beautiful. Now, next step, you're going to do the same process. This is your new divisor. No, this is the dividend. Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to edit it out. Screw it. Who cares? Uh, so this is your dividend. Right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take again that highest term there of x, the 6x, you're going to divide it now into the highest x term here in the dividend, okay, the negative 30x. So write that work out on the side. So negative 30x divided now by the 6x, okay? And what does this reduce down to? Well, reduce down to simply negative 5. So this term will now enter your quotient. It's going to be a minus 5 now, okay? Cool. Now set it up. Subtraction symbol, parentheses, and do your distribution. Take the negative 5, multiply it by the positive 6x. What does that work out to be? That works out to be now a negative 30x. Great. Then take your negative 5, multiply it by the positive 5, right? And that's going to work out to be negative 25. Fantastic. Now, before you move on, you have to take this negative and distribute it to each of the following, each of the terms inside of that parenthesis, right? So they're all going to be double negatives, so make the double negatives into a positive. Now, when you have the negative sign, don't actually erase it. It'll help you remember. Just write the, just write the vertical line so it turns into a plus, okay? Now, when you add these two together, these obviously will cancel. And, oh, my goodness, those will cancel as well. So I have a remainder of zero. 
So it sounds to me like this x minus 5 is the answer when you do this division. Okay, this quotient is the answer. Now, if you're not too confident in this answer, which I'm not at the moment either because I am a little tired, although it sounds like I'm wired, um, the, I would do a check, okay? I would do a check. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to write 6x squared minus 25x minus 25. I'm going to write it in fractional form. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. 6x plus 5. Okay, how the hell am I going to fall asleep after this? I don't even know. That's what happens when you drink coffee too late, ladies and gentlemen. Do not drink coffee too late at night, okay? Because I'm probably going to pull an all-nighter now. Um, anyway, um, I wonder how much longer my body can take with this. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. So now you're going to set it equal to the quotient, okay? Because basically what you found and what, you, what we did over here is we did this division and we said that that division will be equal to x minus 5, okay? Now what you can do is you can plug in a value for x, all right, choose a value of 1. Make it easier on yourself. Sometimes I don't like to choose 0 or 1. Usually I don't. I choose a 2, but in these problems, it really doesn't matter, okay? Certain other problems, I would suggest you don't choose 0 or 1. In any case now, everywhere you see an x, you're going to plug in a 1. So it's going to be 1 squared minus 25 minus 25. All right, what happened to the x? Oh, my God. Okay, well, thank God I chose a 1, right? Ha! Huh. Just seeing if you're paying attention. Are you paying attention? I hope you are. I hope it's not 2 in the morning where you are. And if it is, welcome. So it's going to be a 1 minus than 25. All in time, 6 times 1 plus 5, and that's then going to be a 1 minus 5. Okay, so now this just works out to be 6, right? Then minus 25, that's just 25, then minus 25. Okay, great. Divided now by 6 plus 5, right? 6 plus 5, basically, so that's 11. And that's going to be equal to, hopefully, it should be equal to negative 4. Hopefully, this works on out. So let's see what happens. When you take a negative 25 and subtract 25 from it, that becomes a negative 50. And then when you add now, when you take negative 50 and you add a positive 6 to it, that becomes negative 44. Negative 44 over 11, is that equal to negative 4? I think it is, right? Negative 44 divided by 11 is negative four. So this checks out. So that check works. That means I know I'm right here with the quotient. Careful though, right? Imagine you, imagine this didn't come out right and it was wrong. If you make the assumption that you did something wrong here, it would have been incorrect, right? Imagine I use a different value for X and I forgot, you know, I didn't catch that little mistake. Um, then this check would have been wrong. So all that happens if you're checking yourself and it doesn't come out correctly, all that it means to you is actually some work that has been done prior, either here or here is incorrect. It doesn't necessarily mean that you did incorrect work here in the division. So what I would first do is I would probably first check over since the easier work would be uh, the uh, work that you did to check your result. I would just check, make sure all the signs are good and everything like that. And then if you're confident about this, then you can rest assured that there was some error over here. But in any case, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it for me tonight. I think I'm going to try to go to sleep now. Comment below. Let me know how likely you think it is that I'm going to fall asleep. I'm going to give myself mm, 200 to 1 odds. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing and liking and even telling your friends if you don't mind. Or classmates, right? They don't have to. You don't have to tell just your friends. You can tell your classmates. Actually, if you tell some of your classmates, you might become friends. Thanks for watching.